money and this money. Like in the movie. And uh, that's fine. But this was only a small fight, a sad fight, but a small fight. The real fight is going to begin next week. Oh. When we are fighting for the real thing. Enough of the fight talk, Schnitzi. You're, but, you're not the fighting type. Well, I will. I definitely will. I will. I have to fight for wow. it. You know, then I'm out of it. That's it. But, you know, the fight is not over. It's going to be Listen, a big fight. And you, I tell do you, you remember what happened last time you fought? I'll huh? ask him. Last time. No, listen. If, uh, if, if the, if what the what happens? Happen. Listen, Schnitzi. What happens if you go to her place? I'll cut it. And she's still there. Oh, they, no. Then I'm going to fight. Then I'm going to fight. And I tell you, I'm going to make a big fight. Oh, Dolph, you know, listen. This, this, uh, <clears throat> Schnitzi, this, listen. He, he get, gave to have sex with guys for money. He lived on it, you know. I know. Ass, I know. You know he's listen. a real creepiest. And I'm going to fight him. To the, I, I, I tell you, I'm going well, to you, have a big fight with him. Listen, you don't, e- you don't even know whether she he's the one that bought her those rollerblades. Of course he did. And he said, look, <laughs> la- uh, <clears throat> we have a couple of drinks, we have a couple of drugs, and it goes over very fast. Sometimes we go to, to bed uh, with guys, uh, unestated guys, but he said it's good for our business, it's good for the future, we need it. That was the deal. What deal? I don't know. I don't know, but I know when I have to go to bed with guys, I don't want to do it, but we, we get should. drunk and we have a couple of trucks and listen, I get it over with. Listen, so you're, getting, you're getting off track here, Schnitzi. Listen, you're, you're losing focus of the big picture. Now, li- now listen for a second. Why was she attracted to you in the first place? No idea. Well, there's got to be something. I mean, clearly you've given us some reason to stray away, Can right? I- no idea. No idea about that. I only you know- haven't been to his bakery, have you? Uh, if I have to, I go there. Definitely. If I have to, I go there. Let's see. I, I, I mean, I'm going to fight him. He has, there's something, you know, he will see. I'm going to fight him. This isn't you. I'm not going to stand still. This that is over. This is not the schnitzy that I know. I know. We're, I'll get you, you've been hearing rumors, and you're believing them. That's the problem. No, no, not at all. Sure. I don't believe one word. He's playing the goody goody, and she told me she never slept with him. She never saw him naked. You know, that ass. Listen, all is not lost, Schnitzi. Everything's going to be fine, because this, the thing is, can I, can you're I, can a strong I, man. Can I, can I stay? Roger, Roger, hold on a moment. I just need... I'll be with you in a moment, Roger. We, we just need, to take a, It'll take just a moment. We're going to have to... We're going to have to get started. Started? We're gonna, I'm almost done. Just a few, a few more moments. Okay, well, actually, we need... Okay. Dolph, hold on a moment. Listen, now, if, if you've heard it from her... I don't understand why it is you're so skeptical about the whole thing. Yeah, because he never was in bed with her. He never schooled her. Yeah. How can he be the father of the baby? Yeah, but then why are you upset about the whole thing, then? Because I hate him in bed. I don't want him in bed. I don't want him to come close to me in bed. Why wouldn't you just tell him, you know, yourself? Because some um, security, he was a lawyer. If you can't trust a lawyer anymore, who are you going to trust? Yeah. He's still a jerk. Well, you're right. Yeah. I can't just get that. So what are you going to do now? Well, that means I'm going to fight for the girl, because if it's my girl, I don't fight for it. It would be sad. I would be a sad that I'm not going to do that. She still I'm has all, going, all your color. I'm not going to wonder. I don't wonder. I'm out of it. I, I know. You got to admit, though, he does look like Rick Schroeder when he puts on those uh, those glasses, right? I don't agree. I want to make sure I can't sleep in the night. If I would have known, I couldn't sleep in the night. Schnitzi, not- listen, listen. You didn't know, okay? It was not your fault. That certificate looks I genuine. I, oh, I'm only upset. We wouldn't. Have, we would have never talked about it. Why did she have to have sex with others? Why well, now that the papers run the article, okay, it's only a matter of time before they're going to find the ringleader. I hope they do. I hope they do. And I believe he is deeply involved. Deeply. Well, counterfeiting souvenirs is serious stuff. Also, he's involved in everything. Because for him, it's only money. We gotta, yeah. It's, it's t- hey, how's it's Carol t- doing? We are getting along fine. And uh, but she took it. Everything is fine. Yeah. She will be happy on the end. I know. And everybody, look, look everybody says, you know, he is lying. They all called me a liar. Yeah. Two days ago, I took a lie detector test. I came out 100%. What? My lawyer said, you better do it. We want to show people that you don't lie. Yeah. I did it. It was 100% the test. Wait, you took a lie detector test? I did it. And it was it was, uh, it was was 100%. I came wait, 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 100% of what? I don't understand. The possibility of lying was 0.01%. We're going we're gonna to have to get... Roger, you're being rude. I'm... We got, we, we're, we're, we're on, we're, we're on. We'll be on in a moment. We're going, no. It's we're, not. We're on now.
Michael. Schnitzy, listen. Roger wants to start the show. He's busting my nuts. All right, listen, I got to go. I'll, I'll call you later, okay? All right, thank you. Bye. All right, Roger. Is, is he? Okay. He, it's th- rude when somebody's on the phone. I, I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know what to do uh, exactly because it's it's not really that we're going to start so much as yeah we have we're, we're we have started. Did he? Did you? He 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 was on our. Did you know that he he called on the on the show phone? Yeah, it's the number I gave him. I said he could call if he if I don't answer my cell. I said Schnitzy, you listen. This is the other number you can call at the station. You can get right through to me. Just tell Armando when he answers. Just say, you know, let me talk to Biggs. And Armando, put him through. Thanks, Armando. Good job. I think, I think, Arma- Good job. I think Armando was under the impression that you would be f- finished with that call by the time we started the yeah. show. Um, so maybe, I'm just thinking, that's the caller uh, hotline for listeners. It sure is. Who call in during the show. And I'm, I'm maybe, maybe he toll free from the greater Tri County area. Maybe, uh, maybe Schnitzy should uh, m- refrain from calling that number in the future because that's that's what, re- what do you expect him to call the toll line? I mean, he's outside the Tri County area, Roger. Or that's it's very mean, very mean. Or you know, maybe next time wrap that call up before we go on the air. Oh, I'm ready now. Let's go. Let's do this. Begin. We we oh well we do that music. We uh, we actually uh, Armando already had to play the music because the thing is is uh, Mm. the start time is actually uh, we don't start when when we're ready. We start. Well, I am ready. That's yeah. That's what I'm saying. But but see, when when it when it's six minutes past, that's when we have to start. And you know whether we're ready or not, we have to go on the air. Roger, it's it's well past that now. Listen, I it's very simple that I ask that you keep things on track. We don't even have time to play the music now. We're just going to have to move ahead. We'll deal with this later. Perhaps in the after show meeting, you and I could discuss. Right. Well, Some ways, you know, you can, you know, maybe. We should make a note of that. And, maybe uh, keep things under control. Right. We'll make a, we'll make a note of that uh, for the meeting. Um, but spe- speaking of keeping things on track, um, yeah. you've got uh, uh, whiz bangs. Whiz bangs is uh, you guys are uh, really do, really do the thing. Really uh, whiz bangs. Um, at cor- of, corner of uh, uh, Phillips and Mountain downtown, downtown, where the fun never ends and the party is never ending. This Thursday night at Whiz Bangs, we are pl- proud to introduce uh, Officer Harry Aku- Ikui. He's going to have him special appearance, celebrity appearance. He's going to be appearing at Whizbangs, greeting patrons at the door, and maybe sharing with you some of the specials that are available Thursday night at Whizbangs in the corner of Phillips and Mountain. Uh, Officer, Officer Akui. Harry Akui. Harry Harry Akui, is he he part of the... From 21 Jump Street, Roger. Remember? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You mean uh, Officer Aoki? Yeah, him. Officer Officer Aoki, a Korean fella. Um, uh, played uh, by the uh, yeah the yeah. Uh, Roscoe got in touch with this agency, and what they do is they uh, provide with you a list of certain celebrities that are willing, you know, for a price, you know, for a, a usually it's a, it's a set price. In this case, we were able to negotiate a percentage of the door. And those celebrities will come out, and they'll uh, they'll hang out for about yeah forty five minutes, maybe an hour, with uh, your patrons. Now, uh, Officer Aoki from Twenty One Jump Street. I don't. You'll have to forgive me. I don't. I don't recall the actor's name who played him, but I do. I can see his. I can picture his face. It, it, it was yeah. The, it's a Korean fella. His name is Dustin Nguyen. 
He's a. That's right. That's right. He's a handsome young man. He does. He he was uh, officer Harry Truman Ayuki. You don't want to miss him. And whiz bangs this Thursday night. Come on out and meet Twenty One Jump Street's Dustin Nagoyan. I think actually that's uh, Dustin Wen. Thursday, nine at, from nine like to nine forty five. Dustin Nagoyan. His um, his name is pronounced Wen. Uh, when he's introduced to others, maybe when he enters a room and identifies himself, says, "Hey, I'm Dustin Nagoyan from Twenty One Jump Street. How you doing?" I guess in s- situations where he's me- he's meeting somebody for the first time, you know, good. Oh, I see where you're getting with this, Roger. He'll be pronouncing his name Thursday night when he meets you for the first time. It whiz bangs on the corner of no, you do that part. It's it's you you do the other part, Roger. That's what I pay you for. It's it's when Thursday night, Roger. We're not moving the night. Move it along. Okay, that's uh, whiz bangs. I mean, I mean, gee, you 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 wanna you wanna what? You wanna. I, I'm just thinking that you're gonna no. you want to make sure that he's not offended or anything. So, gee, what? Uh, spell it out, Roger. You you need you, when, you, when you spell something out, Roger. Hey, Roger, listen, look at me. When you spell something out, you got to use all the letters, or else I don't know what you're spelling. What do you mean? You started with G, and then you moved on immediately. You 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 abandoned the spelling of the word G. You were gonna spell, Roger. Sometimes you you say things. It. That confuses me and the listeners. And this is one of those times, Roger. This is one of them. It's, uh, well, it, it, it's not, I'm not saying the letter G. It's an expression. G, as in gosh or golly. No. It's, it's instead of saying gosh, Mr. Biggs, I, I said G, Mr. Biggs. Talk kind normally, of- all right? People don't understand when you just, you abbreviate these, these words to a single letter. Doesn't make any sense. Well, not, I'm not saying the letter. I'm saying kind of it. I get you said no. You said you. It you means golly. Well it's, it, well, it's not golly itself. Literally, it's. I know it's, another, it's, it's the first letter of it. Well, no. Well, it's actually it's an a, an expression like golly, but instead of golly, it's, it's a G. letter. It's it's G at uh, G G E. I don't know how to spell it because I don't think it's actually really a word, but it's just kind of an expression. Well, it's not a word, Roger. G. It's not a word. I think if you if it, if it was a word, you'd be mispronouncing it. If it was a word, it would be guh or guh, guh, or some, or perhaps something like gah, gah. I've that's s- the that's what you meant to say. You, I think you mispronounced it. I'm thinking I've say I've, gah. whenever I've read it. Whenever I've read it Grr. written out, it's usually spelled out G E E, and it mean and it's just like the expression G. Well, I don't get it. Uh, thir- this Thursday night, it's uh, uh, dust. Uh, you remembered, Roger. Du- Dustin. I was beginning to think you were losing uh, your uh, your marbles there for a few minutes, and even with your notes in front of you, you couldn't, for the life of yourself, remember. But now you do. I just uh, 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 whiz bangs at Phillips and Mountain downtown this Thursday night. Welcoming from uh, f- uh, Twenty One Jump Street, it's uh, Officer Ioki. Other, uh, a.k.a. Harry Truman. Dustin. Harry Truman. When? Thursday night at Whizbangs. Corner of Phillips and Mountain downtown. You write it down there, Roger, so you don't have to. So you don't got to inquire anymore. Just write it. Okay. Got it. Thanks. <laughs> I'll be there. Are you guys asking for calls? Get there early. About the G? It's going to be a big crowd. Who's this guy on the line? Has got but Dustin Nagoyan. No. Armando says we've got a we've got our first call lined up. Uh, hello, sir. What's uh, what's on your mind? Yes, yeah, sir. A um, couple of things. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, 
say that the pronunciation of that word is not G, it's G. Ah! And it definitely <laughs> does come down. I told you, that. Roger. I told you. I told you it was not G. It's G. G. You get so bullheaded, you don't want to listen to the voice of reason. I've, I've actually, I, I'm not sure what, what the listener, yeah. what the listener's ca- talking about. Gee, it's gee, G H E E is pronounced gee. Yeah, yeah. And uh, my actual question is regarding sodium. Um, do we lose any sodium in our sweat mm. and in urine? Yeah. Or if it stay in. In urine. Sodium. If you have excess sodium in your body, it's not good for the ratio of body mass to uh, moisture or water. So your body's going to get rid of excess sodium, uh, mostly through sweat. But you will lose some in your urine. Roger, you know like that black T-shirt you you, uh, you wore last summer? Mm-hmm. And how we get those rings underneath the arms it's, it's after a, you've been outside a lot. Yeah, I know. The, I, yeah, I've got, I've got several. Lots of sodium buildup. And uh, what they're... Uh, what what happens is, I told you the G this, is a letter. It stands for golly or gosh, or gosh darn, or 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 lots of other words as well. Well, the the listener here says it's actually it's it, G. Yeah, it's pronounced G. I told you. So anyway, I'm not really sure I've ever heard heard it pronounced G. Pronounced G. Okay. Gee. Is that gee? Nicely done. Okay. Thank you. We got a call. Are we done? <laughs> no, actually we we've got uh, mm-hmm. we've got another do we have another phone call already? Is that what's next? Well, yeah. Cuz I uh, th- we have a call, but I'm not sure if you want to take it. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay. About okay, good. Excellent. Okay. Hello. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Hey, uh, here's what happened to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, I go over to his house on the weekend, and uh, he tells me, hold this lottery ticket. They're going to put the lottery drawing on TV in a moment. Mm. So I, I'm watching the TV, and I'm, I'm thinking, this is $50 million. And Why are you just screaming? Because it's just a ticket. I mean, it, it doesn't mean anything unless you get you know, the numbers on the balls. I'm screaming because I'm looking at the tickets, the same numbers as the one on the TV. And he comes right Oh, that's out. great. That means you won. And he tears the ticket in half and he says, I knew you were going to lie to me. Wait. I don't. Wait. What, what did you say? You, you said that he said he that. He says he tore the ticket in half and he said, I knew you were going to lie to me. Uh, you get it? I don't. No. I don't know. In other words, he handed me the ticket, told me to watch the TV. Watch for the numbers. Okay. On so the TV. Talked, so when I'm screaming about how he won the money and we won the money, he came and tore the ticket in half, and he said, hey, I knew you were going to lie to me. And I thought he, Your brother tore the ticket? I, he tore, I just thought he tore $50 million in front of me. Why would your brother tear up a $50 million ticket? My cousin. Well, cousin, brother, whatever, it doesn't make any difference. You, you, you paid for the ticket, right? Then why would he tear it up? It was a fifty. It was a fifty million dollar ticket. Why would your brother tear up a fifty million dollar ticket? My cousin. That doesn't matter. I, you get it? I don't understand what's happening here. Is it? So his. So his his brother tore up the ticket, and they lose. My cousin. The, right. You're you're. You you lose the fifty million dollars. You get it? No. I, I I have to think that maybe at some point in the past the hold. put him on hold. At some. At Don't some, hang up on him, Roger. Now you've hung up on him. Listen. I'm sure. How many I'm times under- have I talked to you about super serving your core audience? Okay. Somebody that takes the time to call into a radio show. Okay. That is. Those are your P ones. Those are your P1s, Roger. Those are your core audience. You want to super serve them. I did not want to hang up on him. I merely wanted to take a moment to gather my uh, my thoughts. Because I'm so confused. Uh-huh. We'll have to And ask. I do not know where I am right now. And I don't know who he is or what he was talking about. But I'm sure that if I would have had a moment, I would have known. If if Ar- Armando, if, if that if that gentleman calls back, we can, we can try to sort things out with him and get the... Uh, the rest of the details, I have to yeah, think Yeah, but that- don't, do not put him through, because I do not want that call again, because I do not understand. 
I I have to think that uh, th- there was some sort of uh, revenge going on there with his with his uh, with his cousin and his brother he, Roger. He was his brother. He wanted to he wanted to get back at at the caller. Hey, listen, I want no for, part. I want no part of these domestic disputes. No part of it. When money gets involved, they say that uh, blood is thicker than water. Well, you know what? It's not thicker than what stack that? of fifties. It's not thicker than that. It seems like a trust me tough lesson. I mean, I mean, if if you have a, a beef with your with your brother, then his cousin Roger. He said his cousin. I see. <laughs> Bigscast at uh, gmail dot com. Um, there's two two G's. B I G G S. Pronounced gmail dot com. Roger gmail. Okay. Um, the the this is a, an email from a gentleman calling of uh, from um, Princeton Bluff. You said it was an email, Roger. Now you say he's calling. He's calling. I'm sorry. He's calling I'm sorry. This where? is. It's not. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I got it mixed up with the caller. Hey. It's an email. It's it. it th- Chuck, this. Bring Roger a beverage. Bring him a beverage because Roger is clearly having a moment. Steve from Princeton Bluff. Steve from Princeton Bluff uh, writes. Thank you. This is all I could find. Thank you. Here, take this. Drink it. Thank you. Thank Drink you. it. Drink it down. Is that on? Okay. What That's is good. what is Thanks. that stuff? So I'm good. Antihistamine. All right. You're not allergic to that, are you? What's no, I'm good. Diamond. I'm fine. Let me get... Diamond let me, tap. This is um, Steve from Princeton Bluff, and he writes, Mr. Bakes, I frequently enjoy microwave dinners. Mm. After the cooking time cycle has completed, yeah. directions often suggest that you leave the meal in the microwave for another minute or two. Mm. Steve goes on to say, what is that for? Why should you leave the meal in the microwave? What happens during that time? Yeah. Uh, that's from Steve in Princeton Bluff. It doesn't heat via convection heat. It doesn't heat via infrared heat. It heats v- via microwave energy. Which is... Which Magnetron. Is inside. It excites. It excites the air. And it sends out radio waves, which go into the water molecules inside the food. And it starts them a vibrating, you know? Mm-hmm. Like vibrating. Like you, right before lunch, you know? The way you get... Lunchtime. No, my blood my blood sugars. All the water molecules start going buzz, and they get very hot. The friction of the water molecules get very hot, and that's what cooks your meal. Now, the the meals, when they reach uh, the cooking temperature, all of the, 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 the binding material, all the proteins, all of the gluten, it all re- gets to a very elastic state. I see. And what you what you want to do at the end of the cooking cycle is you want to give the proteins time to relax again, because if you if you jump in too quickly, it's going to be a, a tough rubbery meal that you were trying to enjoy. And if you only give it a couple of minutes, you know, don't be so excited, to, you know, to, to watch Barney Miller. Just hold on a second, put down the the lean cuisine for like five minutes. Let it let it rest. Let it relax. Let the bonding between the molecules. Relax as well. They put that on the box for a reason, Roger. People ignore that all the time, and then they complain about microwave food. There's no better food. There's no better food. So, which I mean, all of us have ha- have have experienced uh, a food that's been heated in the microwave, and and you bite into it, and it's it's tough and chewy. Yeah, yeah. Whereas- you haven't let it sit long enough, Roger. You got to let the proteins relax, the connective tissue. Hmm. Between the uh, the fibers, hmm. I've got to relax. I, I would, I would, I think most people probably thought that once you've reached that tough, rubbery, uh, d- difficult to chew stage, that there's no turning back. That that. Oh well, no, it's only because they're digging in. They're digging into the hungry man too quickly. Let it sit. You're gonna burn your tongue. Hmm. It's a burning hazard. You don't. Yeah, that cherry cobbler is like it's like magma. 
bigscast at gmail.com. So if uh, if you uh, have any questions for Mr. Biggs and you What's don't... What's with the Gmail? And it's you don't... Gmail, Roger. Gmail. It's always been Gmail. Is the address. Nicely done. Thank you. that he ate some of his cubed space-age food and he ate some strange peaches which he squeezed out of a toothpaste-like tube. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, line six is ready. Armando is, uh, <sighs> excuse me, take over for a second. Okay. Uh, hello. Hello. Hello, this is Mr. Biggs. You're on. Like this? Okay. Hello, this is Mr. Biggs. Okay, stop. Check. Okay, not, Roger, okay I'm back. We're good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Biggs. All right. Anytime, Roger. Line six. Um, Armando says that we have a caller waiting on line six. And let's go ahead and uh, yeah. take that take that call right now. Hello, caller. Welcome. Hey, thanks for taking my call. You know, I've, I've suffered a long, long time with this. With what? What have you suffered with? I've had headaches for years, and I can't I can't stand in line at Disneyland next to a fat woman. I get a headache if I'm on a plane. I get a headache next to a fat woman. Wait, when, I don't understand. You you hate you hate fat ladies. Uh, when my wife was pregnant, I had to lay face her. I couldn't lay back to her because it caused me to get a headache in bed. Oh. Horrifying. I got it. I got it. Fat ladies. You're, you're saying the fat ladies give you headaches. Uh, yes. Yeah, I was confused. It, was, it does. seems odd that you that, you would associate fat ladies with your head hurting. I can't. I can't imagine that there's any physiological response between seeing a fat woman yeah. and and trigger that having that trigger a headache. That doesn't seem yeah. quite right. Wait. Wait. Are you going to say something? Go ahead. I'm just saying that I, I can't imagine that uh, seeing a fat woman would trigger a headache in anybody physiologically. There's got to be yeah, some sort of uh, there's got th- some I'm, sort of genesis for why this happened. It's got to be uh, psychosomatic. At some point, did you did you like have a uh, like a bad experience with uh, like a fat lady? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, Bingo. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I was thinking. Hey. Tell, tell us about what happened between you and, uh, and the fatso. Back in college, I was a supervisor in a drugstore, which caused me to mm. have to get in the safe sometimes and do some work. And sure. one of the ladies that worked there, she weighed about uh, 400 pounds uh, while I was working in the safe, decided that she would uh, goose me, <gasps> oh, uh, oh. which you know, it was horrifying. Now, by goose, you mean that she, uh, she pinched, pinched oh. your little tushy. Oh. No, it was the whole cheek. In fact, uh, I mean, goose uh, pinching would be the understatement of the world. Yeah. Uh, when 400-pound women yeah. goose you, it's, uh, it's a lot of goose. Oh, okay, but the, my point is it's not like she grabbed you with both hands. It was one hand. Yeah. Uh, she called me sweet cheeks after that for, for a year as I worked in that store. Well, that's... So what was... It does, I can't. I can't it, see it, that. It doesn't seem like it, it's that bad. I, ca- I can't. I can't see how that would even still. I can't see how that would cause headaches. It, uh, well, uh, it was horrifying. What was worse is I I knocked my head on the top of the safe, uh, oh! which caused me headaches. In fact, uh, I had headaches for years. And- uh, I think. I think. I see. You see where this is going? Yeah. Yeah. It's the the thing is mm-hmm. you you that lady mm-hmm. when she grabbed on to your to your uh, fleshy fleshy bottom parts. You associate that with hitting your head when you're in the safe. That I could see. I could yeah. see. Every time you go to the grocery store now, you are, you you associate when you hit your head on the safe from the big fat lady grabbing onto your butt cheeks with her hands, just grabbing on with her mitts, grabbing onto you. Well, it startled him. Yeah, it scared. Head, it scared you. His head, his his head just kind of came up right up into the uh, the roof of that safe, and uh, and all you got to do from now on, from this point forward, is you just stay away from fat ladies. That's all you got to do. Awesome. Thanks for the call. 
Well, I mean, that's... Make that's, a wide berth. I think that... Uh, th- it's that, easy to see them because they're so big. Big, fat ladies. With should. a large, a large, round buttocks. Rolling. Seems as seeming to roll as they walk. Just sort of a... Uh, it's, a rambling it's, mosey. It's... Uh, shifting their weight from side to side in their stretch pants. You can see them easily. Stay away. It's it's probably may, maybe that's a good first step. Walk to the other side of he, the street, maybe. He should. Uh, um, Headaches in, are gone. I mean, in in addition to that, he should maybe see a a, a, a doctor, and and have a, a have a doctor r- rule out some other cause for the headaches. I mean, if he's got a. But the cause of the headaches is clearly you know, fat people, fat ladies specifically. So it's not I mean, so it's might, not as important because he now that he knows. He might want to knows how to. Yeah, exactly. He knows how to avoid it. He should maybe see a stay away from them. Some sort of counselor too. But I'm what I'm saying is, I mean, you're probably right yeah. that uh, the the if he just sort well, of right. averted his his it's attention. Fat people, ladies. He. But the thing is, I mean, if it's a tumor or something very very no, serious, it's fat. It's fat ladies. It's not tumors. Don't put other ideas in his head, Roger. You got to scare the listeners. You're pro- you're you got to pro- super serve your P1s, Roger. Super serve them. You're you're probably right about the about the um, the P ones. You're probably right about about he he's having some sort of psychosomatic reaction yeah. to seeing fat women, but uh, over overweight women, but large sausage like fingers reaching out and grabbing on to your fleshy back parts. Just to be safe is what I'm. Just to be safe, see a doctor and tell him about the headaches, and the doctor can do some sort of scan, some sort of test, just to make sure that you're scared that of fat ladies. Tell them when you go in. Say, "Hey, I'm scared of fat ladies." Just make sure that it's. Just make sure that it's not, uh, you know, like it, like you know, something more serious, and it. Yeah, you know, some like sort an, of an like an allergy. Could be an allergy to fat ladies. Would the answer to that be when you and I were young, Maggie? No, I'm afraid not. It wouldn't be get along, little doggy, would it? No, I'm afraid not. What about riding down the canyon? No. Okay. <laughs> What about riding trailed alone? No. See, Ralph Burgess makes mistakes in those darn questions. Everybody's guessed to have a movie of a lot of the movies that Gene has played, and you said that ain't it. Uh... It's just Tumbling, tumbling weeds. No, afraid not. What about? No. Okay. Did you drink all of that, Roger? You drank it all, didn't you? Wow. Just, a, just about. Yeah. Just about. Drink it all down. It's a big boy. Just like folks are going to do at uh, Whiz Bangs on thir- Thursday night yes. when they when they celebrate. Uh, the good times they're having with um, with uh, Officer Ioki. Yeah, from Twenty One Jump Street. TV's Officer Ioki. He'll be from- greeting Whiz Bang's patrons at the door. Come on by for Dustin Nguyen. Whiz Bang's doors open at nine. It, it, it's it's I think it's when. Right here, right there. You see, you even, that's your handwriting, Roger. That's your handwriting. Right there. Here, let me, let me take this highlighter. Take this highlighter. No, wait, no, let me do this. Give, no, let me do this. I'm going to highlight it right here. There. That is when? Thursday night. Nine, I'm going to do the time too. Okay, I think I got Nine that. p.m. It's Thursday night at Whiz Bangs, Phillips and Mount. Okay, thank you. Thanks. 
Okay, got it. Okay, thank you. Uh, Thursday nights, um, you can put it. You can you can put it down. I want to. I, I, I want to I wanna I make it. sure you can see it. I'm trying to get it I in your it. eye line. I see it. I'm just saying. I see it. It's uh, Thursday night. This Thursday night. There you go. Phillips and Mountain yeah. downtown Whizbangs, where the fun never ends and the Party. parties yeah. never ending. A little bit distracted today, Roger. A little bit distracted, but all in all, a fine effort. It's uh, Officer. Uh, t- t- TV's officer Harry Truman, Aoki, I- Twenty One Jump Street. Johnny Depp was in, uh, on. Uh, did you know? No, you think, you- you're thinking of uh, you're thinking of that fat guy who makes pancakes. I, who? You're thinking the, of that fat guy. N- the Johnny Depp is. You're thinking of Dom DeLuise. Oh. Uh, I, I, I don't think that I know. I know you're. Yeah, the funny his, guy from the car movies. He, uh, his son was in uh, Twenty One Jump Street. Peter. He was Peter Deloise. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's nice yeah. for him to have his son in there too. And jo- I, Johnny- I oftentimes wish that uh, maybe one day my nephew will uh, one day join me at Whizbangs, maybe to uh, help sweep up after a hard day's night and put down some. Uh, some sawdust to clean up the sick. It's a family business, a family affair. He's not old enough yet, though. He's seven, Roger. Co- You're talking about Cody. Yeah. Yeah, he's. But he's one day be... I'm hoping to maybe bring him into the business. I just thought it was nice. So he can mop up the sick. That Dom DeLuise brought in his son, uh, his son Karen Pe- Del. What? Peter DeLuise and Johnny yeah. Depp. Johnny Depp, Peter DeLuise. He's not related to Johnny Depp, no. Johnny Depp was on the show, and uh, Dustin Wen, hmm. uh, D- D- Detective Ioki. Yeah, that's what I mean. He'll be there Thursday night. Well, it's going to be a lot 9 of fun. Nine p.m. Doors open. Come on out. Uh, the standard uh, fee applies, uh, plus a ten percent markup. You know, for the talent fee. And say it's it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to meet uh, the TV star. Um, uh, Dustin uh, Nguyen. Uh, are we done? Yeah, we're done. Happy ending. You got to super serve your P1s, Roger.